Hey guys, so today I'm coming at you guys with another hair tutorial. I want to incorporate other videos on my channel other than hair tutorials. I don't know what to do. So I don't know what you guys, oops, I don't know what you guys want to see. So you know, let me know. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing passion braids today. Passion braids are like so fire. Like I feel like it's going to be like the most trendy hairstyle of 2021. Because 2020 is over, done with, is dead. But yeah, 2021. So basically... So if you guys watch my channel often, you guys know I did a video where I made my own passion twist. And then a company hit me up and they were like, girl, like we know you can't find passion twists in your hair color, but we got you. So I'm working with Leave-In Company for this video. Um, they're on Amazon. All the links will be in the description below. Basically, they sent me a bag of passion twist hair. The bun It comes with like a bundle like this. Each bag has six packs inside of it. So... So the packs, so it's 18 inches, oh my god, this is so loud. So it's 18 inches and the pack looks like this. And then when you take it out, it's about this much hair. Sorry, I've been playing with it a little bit. But yeah, it's about this much hair and you get six of these per bundle. I got two just in case, but I definitely won't need two. I know it. Um, this is quite a bit of hair, um, so yeah. So if you guys are my hair color, it matches like really really good if you guys can see like so good you can't even tell when your hair is braided so basically we're gonna do knotless braids of course because who does not braids anymore um also i'm gonna do them pretty jumbo size because i like i like when they're thick and like messy looking and not when they're like super slender because then you can't really tell what's going on so first things first is you're going to section i know a lot of people section out their hair beforehand and like tied in elastic bands but since we're doing knotless braids that method won't work here i'm just going to section as i go also i'm going to do the complete like back and bottom and then come back to you guys and show you guys how i do the braids on the top and show you guys the parting pattern just because it's going to save us a lot of time people don't like to watch long videos also it's hard for me to record the back so i'll come back to you guys once that part is complete hey guys so i'm back this is what my hair is looking like so far um, I'm just going to show you how I do this part here. I'm just going to do make this into two sections because I was trying to do jumbo braids. One thing I will say is that this still took pretty long even though it is jumbo because you have to separate, well you have to pull each braid. So I would say I've been doing this for like four hours which is crazy. But yeah, also I lost my comb like midway through doing this so my parts are no longer perfect. And I'm doing them with my finger. I don't know where it went. And I'm not trying to look for it. Okay, so I'm just going to part this section into two. I'm going to clip up the back for later. Okay, so I start off with using a hair butter on my natural hair just so it doesn't dry out while it's in the style. I'm using the main choice. Daily hair dressing doesn't get much butter than this. Looks like this. Yeah, so the inside is like coconut oily. If you watch my last previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. It comes out solid. You rub it, it turns into an oil. So I'm just gonna rub that onto my hair. After that, I'm gonna brush out my hair, which is like super obvious. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna start my knotless braid. Um, actually, I'm lying. I am lying. First, I'm gonna take a little section of like just regular old braiding hair, and this is gonna help like your braid be thicker, and also it's gonna help lock your braid in tighter. So that's the first step. Next, I'm just gonna grab a couple of these and put them in front of me so I can have them easily re like in my reach. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to take some Eco Styler Gel. You can use like edge control or whatever gel you like to like just hold down the very top and back part of your hair just to make it super slick when you're braiding it. Okay, so once you add your gel or edge control or whatever you want to use, you're going to start your braid. Basically, I'm going to just start a regular braid. But I'm doing it kind of like a cornrow, but like only a tiny bit. I'm just going to add like the last section in later, like this. Once it's added in, um, let me braid it a little further down so you guys can see better. Once it's added in, 
I'm gonna take my braiding hair, place it behind my hair, and then the section without braiding hair, I'm gonna fold that over to secure it in there and then just continue braiding down. I'm gonna stop though because I'm going to add in my first piece of crochet. So I just take, so this is like crochet type passion twist. Um, it does come with a crochet needle as well in case you guys were looking to buy this hair. It comes with a free needle which is pretty bomb. It also comes with a little bit of hair jewels and stuff if you wanna use them. But yeah, so I'm just gonna take my crochet piece, put it behind my hair, same way. The piece without it, I'm gonna fold under to secure it. And I'm just gonna continue doing that until I get like my desired thickness. And I'm not really separating like the hair because once you braid it, it'll start separating on its own and also like you don't really need to, I don't know, it takes up too much time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys again. I'm just gonna take this little piece, put it behind, it's gonna, one's on this side, one's on this side, the piece without it, I'm gonna fold under and wrap it and like continue my braid. So it's pretty seamless. One more, so take my piece, add it to my hair. So I've added it to here and here, it's, it's on the back. And then the piece with that, I'm just gonna continue braiding. So once you're done with your braid, it's gonna kinda look like a regular braid, but you're gonna add some spice. And we are going to pull, start pulling it. So however messy you want it is how much you're gonna pull it. But you wanna make sure you start pulling it from the bottom and work your way up to the top. Because if you pull from the top to the bottom, I noticed it doesn't really work. I don't know why, I don't know what the logic is. I don't know, you know, the mathematical reasons behind it, but I know it only really works when you do it from bottom to top. So I just grab like both sides of the braid and pull it open. Be careful when you're close by the ends of your hair because you don't want to pull the ends of your hair out. But you should be able to tell. Oops. So yeah, I pull it all the way up to like where the braid starts. Okay, so once you're done pulling it should look something like this. So it looks a little bit messy but like also like it's meant to be like that. I don't know how to describe it, but I really like it, the way these look. So I'm just gonna do my last braid and I'm gonna put it in fast motion since I explained everything verbally now and you guys don't wanna hear me talk anymore. I'm gonna just do it in fast motion just so you guys can see exactly what I do one more time. But if you do have any questions, you can always leave them below or hit me up on Instagram. I always reply to my DMs if you guys have questions about my YouTube videos or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna start braiding now. Okay guys, so this is how my hair turned out. Um, I ended up using one full pack of the six packs, if you know what I mean. The links will be in the description below. You guys can see how it's laid out. Um, but I did do them really long. So let me just stand up. You guys can see here, like my leg is here. My, like, it's, it's past my butt. So, yeah, I like my braids or protective styles or whatever super long because I'm like, if I'm going to add extensions, I, <clears throat> well, I don't know what's happening to my voice, but if I'm going to add extensions, then like, you know, might as well go all out. But yeah, so I feel like passion braids are so much better than passion twists because passion twists do not last long because they just they just get so loose so quick or so fuzzy or something but braids since it's braids it's gonna obviously last super long plus they're already like distressed looking so even if they start getting more distressed looking it's gonna look like normal it's gonna look cool it's gonna look all right 
Um, yeah, so I did the knotless method. Hopefully I helped you guys out with the knotless method in case that was a struggle area for some people. Also, I did the feed in method as well. Hopefully that helped you guys. I do have another video on it, but this video should be clear, should be more HD. So maybe it's gonna be like more beneficial. I feel like these are so cute. If you guys are thinking about getting these and you're like on the fence, you should definitely get them. I already recommend, even though I just put them in. So yeah, this took me a total about, total about four and a half hours. So it only took me long because I had to separate each braid. Otherwise, like if I just had to braid it, it'd probably take me like two and three and a half, three, three hours. It probably took me three hours. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Let me know if you guys have any like requests. If you maybe if you guys want to see me style these different ways, you can style them something. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any requests. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying my videos. I've been trying to stay consistent for you guys, and um, I'll see you guys in my next one.